kindred spirit and welcome back all to Woodland Bunny. Today we're going to be endeavouring to read the Raven Cycle series, a series in which has been on my TBR for quite some time and I thought it was time to pick up this series and dedicate some time to adventuring throughout the whole of the world rather than making it quite jarring and picking up a book here and there. I'm going to endeavour to do this without exploring any spoilers as I wouldn't want to take that reading experience away from you. This video is going to be filled full of me reading the Raven Cycle series, sharing my thoughts, favourite quotes, characters, and of course, like I say, without trying to sport. In the first few days of this reading vlog, I decided to go outside and change up my reading environment. I've been in a little bit of a rut of life and reading rise recently, so I wanted to change my environment in hopes that would motivate me, and it sure did. Grab yourself a warm cup of tea a cozy blanket and let's get to reading the Raven Cycle series. Hi friends, so I finally finished reading the first installment in the Raven Cycle series and which is The Raven Boys. I rated it four stars and I had such a fun time with this. I feel like it really set up the characters and we almost had a little bit of a deep dive into each of them but it wasn't too heavy. Um, it was very much a character building and world building installment in the series but I feel like there was a lot of plot in it as well so I didn't feel too character driven. There was also that plot driven with it and we had a bit of action and adventure and mystery wrapped up in there too um but this was just a perfect installment in the series um and as i say i rated it four stars i love this because it had a boarding school setting incorporation of the latin language um like i say it also had the magic and psychics element woven into it and it was just a lot of fun and i cannot wait to move on to the second installment so let's go ahead and read that one <laughs> Thank you. 
it's a rainy gloomy day here today and I've spent most of my day reading. I just wanted to pop on and give you my thoughts because I did finish the dream season which is the second installment in the Raven Cycle series and uh, whilst I'm not going to go too in depth about my thoughts in the next few books following um because they are second third and fourth installments in a series and any sort of key spoilers or key takeaways would ruin the whole series and I don't want to do that at all. I want to give a very generic overview of my thoughts and whether they're strong and hold up and help the series progress or hinder it um but this one definitely helps it. As mentioned in my little mini review of the first one I adored the character building, we got introduced to plot lines and characters and the world was all set up and this one just expanded on that. It wasn't boring or predictable whatsoever and was such a strong second installment. New characters were introduced, new plot lines founded, relationships and character growth got so much stronger and my love and admiration and pure willingness and joy throughout the series got stronger in terms of my relationship towards the world and the characters and really rooting for them. Um, so I definitely definitely recommend the series based on the two books I've read from it so far. I'm having so much fun, new mysteries are being delved into, so many plot twists are happening, a lot of cliffhangers are also occurring and yes I'm just having so much fun so I'm going to now dive into Blue Lily, Lily Blue. I've already read about 200 or maybe 100 pages and I'm adoring it so much. My full thoughts will come later once I've finished it so let's dive back into reading friends. <laughs> so it's now the next day and I finished Blue Lily Lily Blue last night and oh wow this is so much fun it was so action-packed it had me so gripped there was so many plot twists and new characters introduced and new plot lines introduced and so many different things happened in this book and I just have no idea how it's all going to be wrapped up in the final installment The Raven King I'm so so anticipating myself reading that and I actually jumped into it and I'm about to have pages in so far so not very long but um it is part of the work week now so I do have to go back to work um so I didn't have as much time to read during the day um but yeah I just adored this third installment so much again I don't want to give too much away because of spoilers with it being the third installment but it was so much fun I just adore the writing style in this the plots are phenomenal and they are so well done and I just never anticipate anything happening and then it does and I'm just so shocked that it did but yes I adore this one so very much um Oh, I'm just so excited to read The Raven King, so I'll keep you updated on my progress through that and my thoughts, but I can't believe we're going to be reading the final installment in the series. I'm so sad to be letting it go, but yes, let's get through The Raven King. Hey friends, so it's now a handful of days later and I'm still making my way through The Raven King. I am 247 pages and it's taken me such a while to get through it and which is really really sad. I had such high hopes for this one and it's been good so far but I just find it dragging. I'm not as invested and as intrigued as I was the first three and which is really confusing because this is when it obviously all ends and gets wrapped up. Um, and I'm really anticipating reading the ending but everything in between I'm sort of just a little bored by I suppose you know, which is really sad to say because I really thought I had high hopes for this one um, but yeah I'm going to keep on reading it I'm slowly slowly making my way through it so it's taken me quite a while but hopefully I enjoy it by the end and I will keep you updated Hey friends, I just finished the last book in the Raven Cycle series, which is The Raven King, and it was so good. The ending was so action-packed. I did find it a bit of a slog to begin with, as I mentioned in my previous clip when I spoke to you about it last, but the ending was just so good. There was so much wrapped up in it, so many plot twists, so much action, so much going on. It was just so gripping, um, and... Oh, 
I'm just so sad to be leaving this series. I had the best time reading it and I'm so glad I finally got around to picking it up. Um, I'm definitely gonna rate this one four stars. Uh, yeah, it was just such a good series. I love the ending. I crave more from this book. I really want more. Um, oh, it was so phenomenal and I highly, highly recommend the series. If you haven't read it before, so very good. So thank you very much for joining me on this adventure, friends. I hope you had fun and perhaps it inspired you to pick up the Roman Cycle series or you might have already read it and you'd like to share some thoughts. I tried to make this as spoiler free as possible so you can possibly enjoy the series and have my opinions of it if you haven't yet read it. Um, but I had the best time doing this reading vlog so thank you very much for joining me and I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a wonderful day or night. And until next time, friends, bye.